Hello and welcome to a brand new series. I am Pakira 1703 and thank you for joining me today as we kick off a new series on Football Manager 2017. I'm really excited about this save. I've toyed around with it a little bit. I'm still saving that nice little New Zealand to the world for 2018 Football Manager when I get my hands on it. But while I can, before I move and while I've still got my computer, we're going to start this series. Football Manager 2017. As the intro said, we're kicking off with Notts County. Notts County Board have named a virtually unknown New Zealand manager with no prior experience as their new boss. And folks, that is me. So I hope you'll enjoy this journey together. We will take Notts County and try and get them back into the top league. So without further ado, let's get into it right now. Okay, folks, let's have a quick look at the finances of Notts County. As you can see, we uh, down the bottom in green, we're on track to pass the um, League 2 fair play regulations. So that's always handy. Uh, overall balance, we have £371,458 in the bank account. Don't know how that will work much, but never mind. Uh, yeah, so far this season, £463 profit. I mean, it doesn't really show much anyway at this stage, but what we can, you know, there's not much in the way of breakdowns because we've just pretty much kicked off in the end of June uh, going into the pre-season. But we've got a little bit of money in the bank. Doesn't look like we've got any loans. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so last month we made a bit of uh, income. So expenditure... Travel costs, VAT, doesn't look like we're paying any loans off, I can see. So that's not too bad. All right. So we look at the summary. Transfer budget at this stage is uh, £75,000. Not a bad little bit, uh, which is about 35% of the transfer revenue. And wage budget, just uh, over £42,800 um, per week. Currently spending just under £41,000 per week. Uh, so, we've yeah, we've got just under £2,000 to play with. I haven't looked at the squad yet, so there may be some dead wood we can release for that. Um, we may have a meeting anyway and change some of the, you know, as the expectations go. So, But that's the basic budget we have at the moment. I haven't made any board requests. One thing I usually do is make a parent or affiliate request. Um, but we'll look into that later. Let's have a quick squiz of the club if we can. Yeah, so Notts County, as you can see, very inconsistent. They've been dropped down to the lower leagues, back up, and then back down again. Um, so yeah, it's uh, going to be an interesting challenge. So we'll see how we um, will go with that. Now, um, key players, Michael O'Connor. Okay, we've got some hot, pros oh my, hot prospects. We're praying, uh, playing in pretty pink. Now, I just want to see if we can find out what the odds are for 19th. Okay, so we, we, uh, as I say, the, yeah, cool. So that's the season there for the coming season. Season preview. Let's have a look here for the odds. Okay, so we are. 35 to 1, they reckon around about 12th. Uh, I guess that's not too bad. So have, they haven't really set the agenda yet, you know, um, for the club. That are, so, you know, there's a bit of stuff to go, which is not too bad. Uh, have, like I said, I haven't gone through the team report, I haven't shown tactics, so I'll get all those set up and then I'll probably give you another little nosy to see where we're headed. Um, and then we'll catch you for any major issues or updates. So, yeah, so... Interesting. Well, got a bit of money in the bank. Let's see if we can not spend it all at once, shall we? Okay, so I've just asked the board for a senior affiliate. They've said, yeah, okay, we'll look at it. Now, just looking at here for the transfer update that I've got. Looking at this, we've got four players on loan um, at the club from various teams. Um, so let's have a quick look at who they are and what they look like. So first one is Josh uh, Claxstone. Okay, so he's on loan to us from... Doesn't... Oh my god, everything's all over the place. Okay, so he's on loan from us from Hull. Oh my goodness gracious, Parker. Okay, so 
yeah, he's on loan from us from Hull. Uh, central defender, but he, was, he, he can play in a wide range of positions, um, so that's quite handy dandy. Um, he says he's, yeah, okay, let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like he's more um, used to being on the right, but he can equally play centre, but just doesn't seem to have the same sort of um, competency there. But um, he looks fairly good. As you can see, I've got nice pretty colours. Nothing really stands out in terms of the high, you know, really high um, stats, but he's a lot of average to good ones there. And um, as I said, he's a central, midf uh, central defender who can play right back, wing back, but he's probably more suited based on this here to playing as a, well, a full back. To, um, and a variant there, so that's good. Um, marking 10, tackling 11. He can cross the ball, so that's good to get up the front there. And he's got a decent amount of pace on them. So, yeah, I mean, that'll do. I mean, how old is he? He's, an, he's just a 19-year-old kid. Yeah, not bad. Then we got Mark Bola, Bola from Arsenal. 18-year-old. What's this guy? Okay, so he's a left centre. <clears throat> Again, looks like he's more natural... On the yeah, on the wing, and uh, yeah, good marking, good tackling, good pace about him. Got a bit of stamina as well, so he's not going to get naked. So his physical is actually quite cool. Um, could do a bit of work on the crossing there. Uh, for and he's got a good heading, so he may be more depending. I'll have to look at my def central defenders, but there's more probably an inclination for me to use him as a central left def um, defender just because he can mark, you know, and he's got a good jumping reach. Oh, well, yep, that's a good one as well. Uh, have I checked? No, I haven't checked if I'm paying these guys money. Um, I should do that because. <laughs> oh. Okay, so next we've got 19 year old uh, Tarvon Campbell. Okay. Let's have a look at him. He's a attacking midfielder, right, left, and a striker. So he's more of a winger. Yeah, definitely more natural of the right wing um, as well as left, but more, yeah. And, and, and the striker, they say natural, but it's really, he's pretty much going to be a winger here. Um, again, I mean, he's only 19. Crossing could do a bit of work. He's got some pace about him, though, and acceleration, which is good. Nice little bit of flair. Um, passing could do a bit of work as well, but he can dribble the ball. He's not too bad. Um, not for a 19-year-old. Okay, so that's all right. Um, let's just have a look and make sure I'm not paying for this guy. Okay. I am paying for him. Okay, so we're paying a portion of his contract. We're paying £375 per week. Okay. That's not bad. All right. Actually, I'll go through and have a look at the other ones we've missed and make decisions there. So next loanee is uh, George Grant. Now let's just have a quick squiz. So he's on loan from Forest. We are playing £150 per week towards a £600 per week contract. Okay. Um, midfield centre. Attacking midfield centre. Natural, okay, advanced playmaker with a deep line playmaker. He, yeah, we could use him up front there, but I think he's pretty reasonable. He's got a nice little whack of orange there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, got some good pace about him. Decent acceleration. First touch is, is good. He can dribble the ball. Passing is good. Good technique. Yeah, teamwork. Decent vision and work rate. So he's, he's good. Uh, nice little 21-year-old. So that's pretty good as well. So yeah, that's all the guys we've got out uh, coming in on loan. It's a bit of a background here as well. So Notts County. Founded in 1862. They're a professional English club. Currently playing in the uh, League Two. They finished 17th uh, last season, uh, so they have struggled a little bit. They play their games at Meadow Lane, and of course they've got average training and adequate loose facilities. Yeah, so you know that's kind of they're, they're affectionately known as the Magpies, and their first rivalry is with Nottingham Forest and Mansfield Town, based on their lower league. Um, sort of journey I guess if you like we've won one FA Cup three championships three league twos and two third division south cups and an Anglo-Italian Cup so most of those would be quite a while ago 
Uh, let's have a look at them. So the Premier League. Okay, let's just put that in perspective. That is na- that was the first division. The highest we've ever placed is third in the top league. This was in the football league before the Premier League existed. Okay, so that's the football league, first division. FA Cup winner was in ni- 1894. Okay, so Sky Bet Championship, which would have been then the second division. We won it in 1897, 1914, 1923. League One, which would have been League Two, we haven't won that. League Two, which would have been the old third division. Won that in 1971, 1998, and 2010. So 98 and 2010, we would have it would have been as the Sky Bet League Two. English third division, 31 and 1950, we won that, which would have been as then would have been the fourth division. And the Anglo Italian Club Cup, I actually b- vaguely remember that competition. Um, I can't remember how it worked though, but yeah, they won that in 1994. Um, and Anglo Scottish Cup back then. So it's been a while, you know, it's been a while before they've, you know, and have they ever been a big club? No, well, well, not really, not for well over a hundred years. So we got a bit of work to do. Um, but let's see how we go with this. So it's going to be an interesting save. I mean, I think we can do... I haven't gone through the squad yet. I have... Now, just a quick update on that. Loney, the one from Hull, the top fella. We were paying his full wage of £800 a week. In comparison to my other two defender well, right-backs or uh, full-backs that I had in the club, he was about on par. He wasn't anything flash that made me go, oh, yeah, I want to keep him and I'll, kill, I'll have that £800 a week. So, no, I've sent him back to Hull... That frees up £800 from our wage budget. Yeah, you may say, what, you're £2,000 under Rooney, are you, roughly? Yeah, but now we've got a little bit more play to play with because I want to strengthen the squad. And if I can save money by getting rid of loanies, that's good. You know, to me, at this level, if I'm getting players on loan into the club, I ain't going to be paying their wages. I don't want to pay their wages, and I shouldn't have to pay their wages. So that's what I've done, all right? So... Comment down below if you think that's a good move. Um, if not, let me know as well. How do you play it? How do you approach things like loans as a as a smaller club and when you're bringing in players for loans, if you are? Is that what you do as well? Nah, I'm not going to pay any money for them. Let me know. Okay, and as you see, uh, Mike Crossley's my assistant manager. I haven't gone through the staff yet. I haven't really gone into detail in terms of what they like. I haven't set up the responsibilities yet. I kind of want to go through my staff first before I do all that. Um, but I wanted this based on his appraisal. Um, let's have a look. Roughly transfer budget. Yep, green. Um, plenty of room in the transfer budget. That's fine. Good, impressive decision makers. We're physically squ- uh, strong squad. A good standard of passing or an impressive standard of passing quality. So that means I might look at a position-based pass um, tactic, just because, you know, they can pass the ball. Uh, they've got a lot of strong characters and a lot of leaders. Uh, Thierry Odell, I guess, leads, um, yep, seven players. Who, he's the leader of this out of seven players that can play right back. So there's your depth, you know. Uh, we've got Carl Dickerson. Uh, he's one of five who are capable of playing at left back. Another lot of depth. So good depth in the wings there. Well, the full back range, I guess. Um, Adam Collin. He's an excellent player. Uh, standout goal peak, 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 yeah, yeah, peak, peak. Oh my god, goalkeeper. <laughs> I forgot how to say goalkeeper. Um, again, you know, we've got Carl Dickerson again coming up. Uh, you know, for the left back role, we've got some talented youth, close to the players, you know, displaying a high level of individual and collective teamwork, individual. And first touch, the players tend to have an impressive first touch, which reinforces their technical quality. To me, again, that reinforces that we may look at playing a position based game. What works and what we think might work, two different stories. And like I said, I've never played this before. So I'm getting used to it. I've gone from straight to 15. Um, if in case you know, I have played some of the demo of 18, but I'll save yet for another day. Some of the weaknesses, 
Uh, well, you know, we've got a few players of significant quality that can play in goalkeeper. Adam Collin, as we mentioned, he's a standout goalkeeper. Looks like we don't really have any depth in there. Pretty much um, a bit of lack of depth in midfield and attacking. So we need to look at that. Overall depth, yeah, is outside the first team is uh, not a great deal. Work weight, individually or collectively, is pretty low. So, um, yeah, and with the wage budget, so he mentions 1.9k left in the wage budget, there isn't much room for a manoeuvre. Now I'm freed up £800 for that, so that's going to give me a little bit more uh, room for manoeuvre at this stage. But, yeah, that's some of the weak, uh, weaknesses and strengths of the squad. Let me know what you think. Um, do you think it's going to be based on that? Of course, I haven't gone through the players. What do you think of the team? Okay, so the board have just um, set their expectations for the upcoming season. So Sky Bet League 2, they want a top half finish. They want us to reach the second round of the FA Cup and the first round of the EFL Cup, whatever that is. Again, there's been no changes to the wage budget or the transfer budget. So... I've gone through my coaching, I've gone through my team, uh, staff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got rid of one. I'm going to request an additional coach or two, you know, space from the board. And hopefully they'll agree to it. Um, because we don't really have much. We have like three players who are player coaches. Um, yeah, and, yeah, I mean, it's what to expect. So I haven't terminated too many of them, just one player, um, just one coach who really offered nothing. So I am going to work on that during the rest of the season. But that's pretty much all you need to know. So that's a little bit of an update there, guys. Um, expectations are set. So I think we can do that. We're going to go and meet the players now. So let's go and do this now. Yeah, okay, I think we should. Um, hold the player meeting. Calmly introduce yourself. They're all happy. Uh, I think we can play in the top half this season. Come on, guys, the boss is right. We can finish in the top half, said Carl Dickinson. My new, my, um, new captain, by the way. And, yep. Cool. So that went well. <laughs> Everyone went up in uh, morale, so that's a good start. Let's see if we can um, finish that off. And just as confirmed before, Mr. Josh Clarkson's going back to Hull. So that saves us £800 in the wages. Uh, that's, I think that's under finances we can see that. So, yeah, wage budget is still the same, 42853 but we're now currently spending just over 40000 before we were spending just under 41. So it's freed up a little bit. Uh, that should hopefully help moving forward. And I've just had a look. Um, so this is my friendly schedule. I've added uh, two friendly. So I added Port Vale and AFC Mansfield to the uh, friendly schedule before pre-season. So, as you can see there, we've got Port Vale, Russell, Southport, Braintree, AFC, Mansfield, and then Swindon before we kick off in the league. I will also give you a quick rundown in training. So, everybody is on fitness very high for the moment. That was already preset. And, of course, match tactics. This is a brief outlook. So, here you can see... Yeah. I mean, it could be worse, but really, I mean, I think a minimum... Of, a three stars for some, uh, I'll just give you a run, Mark Crosley, he's my assistant manager, he is ideally a goalkeeping coach, he's just signed on because I wanted to give him, he's my assistant manager, uh, but I wanted to make him a goalkeeping coach, but because he's just signed up, he's just joined us, he won't, um, I wanted, you know, so unfortunately that's happened, there's my stats there, Alan Smith, uh, look, to be honest, the only thing that's saving him is at the moment he can give me a three-star in tactics. Kevin Noland, uh, Noland, Nolan, uh, player coach. As you can see, well, these coaching stats are quite uh, tr bad. He can go and give me two and a half in ball control, but the reason I am keeping him on 
is because of uh, as a staff attributes i would like to probably make him an assistant manager or i know it's not listed here so i'm not sure if he will take the contract possibly youth recruitment or whatever head of youth development he's working in youngsters is really good at 16 and he's got good ability and potential stats he's pretty much at this stage going to be my man i go to um so in terms of you know for scouting reports um yeah so that's kevin nolan and of course mike edwards again he's another player so you can see player coach player coach player fitness coach he's only really good at, at fitness i'll give you a quick overview of what staff has left actually too uh all bugger it do that oh what it's not what i wanted okay so all here uh, just sort by team so obviously, uh, I'm not worried about. I'm just going to look at contract for now. So we've got Alan Smith as a coach. Uh, Mike Edwards is a player fitness coach. Mike Crosley as an assistant manager. Kevin Nolan, player coach. Like I've mentioned, I'd like to probably make him assistant manager. Uh, and if Crosley would take it a contract, maybe a mid-year step down. Um, I've got a chief data analyst as jimmy redfern i really don't know what stats they need i guess it'd probably be tactical knowledge uh or sh so i'm not really sure actually this he's on 300 pounds a week we're going to mutual terminate him uh i don't think we need a data analysis at this stage um of this club and it's 300 pounds Head physio, Ryan Davis, um, he's got physio 15, working with youngsters 15, good stats there, and adaptability 12, I'm very happy with that. Sports scientists, again, they, uh, they don't really play much in this game, I believe, uh, FM17, they were just put in the game. So I don't really know the stats as such, he can't be a fitness coach, he can't be a physio, so um, I'll leave him there for now. I just... Uh, you know what i don't really know what he does i'll see if there's any reports and things physio tom hellas again he's got good physiotherapy uh rating at 13 so he's, and he's only 24. um goalkeeping coach for the under 18 squad i haven't looked at the under 18 coaching squad, to be honest because that's just a second thought at the moment but at the moment yeah okay i think he can do that um Amy Ninji, again, he's a coach, so uh, working with youth this good. 16, he's got some average stats or below average stats there. Peter Jarvis is a coach again. You know, some average stats. Um, and under 18 manager is pretty good. I must admit, I'm pretty happy with that. I have placed an ad out for all some other positions. Like, as you can see, there's no head scout, there's no scouts. I've got an ads out for them. I've also put ads out for under 23 manager. We don't have anything, any staff. And also some, just a coach for us uh, to see if we can. So let's just, just click on that. He agrees to mutual termination. So that's 8,000 and that's done. So we'll catch you back guys. Okay guys, I'll just give you a quick update. I did get the senior affiliate options. The best out of the bunch, pretty much, it was Tottenham Hotspur, and I couldn't turn them down. I mean, they're going to pay me £79,000, just under, well, £79,715 um, per year. You know, we'll host a friendly, we won't have to, they'll, you know, all the gate receipts will be kept by us, and it's also an option for loan. Uh, the club is going to send one player on loan to me, a little right back, um, but that is yet to be confirmed. So... What I'll do, go that's the main update there. We are a couple of games into preseason. We are the staffing situation is a lot better. But look, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to end it here for this episode because it's already been over 20 minutes. I do appreciate all the efforts that we've done. I appreciate you guys watching this, and you know, please subscribe, smash that like button, and please leave comments down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts, maybe some suggestions on some good players. And just things like that so um, what I'll do is next episode we'll come back before the first game of the regular season we'll go over any transfers that have happened there and I'll give you a rundown of the updated staffing situation um, and how we're looking there and anything else as well okay guys so once again thanks so much for joining me today I'm hoping this is going to be a magnificent little series as we take the magpies back to the top thank you I'm Pakira1703
over and out.